Hello, my name is Jonas. In this video, I will talk about the DaVinci Resolve Mini Panel and if I regret spending $3000 on a color grading panel. But before we begin, remember to like and subscribe. That's highly appreciated. So, about a year ago, I ordered the DaVinci Resolve Mini Panel from Blackmag Design. At that time, I was getting more into color grading, both for my personal projects and interest in it, but also because of business sense. Now, I haven't gone full colorist as of yet, and today I grade almost exclusively only my own projects. Although I'm right now in the early stages of starting my own freelancing business, where color grading is one of the services I intend to provide. So, why did I choose the mini panel? Well, first and foremost, because of its integration with DaVinci Resolve, which for third party manufacturers is hard to beat. A downside to this is that the panel only works with DaVinci Resolve and no other color grading software. Before I decided to go with the mini panel, I looked at the micro panel as well, which has essentially the same lower part as the mini panel with the same functionality, but lacks the upper part with the dual 5 inch displays and a lot of functionality. For example, primary bars, which I use a lot. Since a lot of the functions that I use regularly was missing in the micro panel, I knew that I wouldn't be satisfied with that one. So for me, it was the mini panel or nothing. Another key feature of the mini panel, which lacks in the micro panel, is Ethernet connectivity. This allows me to have my video editing PC located in another room than my video editing setup. The panel can also be powered over Ethernet via Power over Ethernet or PoE, which is a real nice feature and basically means that you only have to run one cable to the panel. The build quality of this panel is really good, although the design is not perfect and the little text below the knobs can be really hard to read when color grading in a dark room because these are not backlit like the buttons are. When grading with this panel I still have to use the mouse and keyboard to reach certain functions. There's for example no way to save your project from the panel or navigate between versions and to change between group, clip and timeline adjustments I still have to use the mouse. Now a way to solve this is by using a programmable keypad, for example a stream deck. This can allow you to speed up your color grading process even more, which is basically what this kind of equipment is meant to do. Of course it's also nice to have real trackballs when adjusting the colors and rings to adjust the brightness, but all the functions can still be reached and adjusted using a regular mouse and keyboard. I guess the main selling point for this kind of equipment can be described as flow. When you get used to working with a mini panel and intuitively know where all the functions and buttons are located, you can basically flow through the grade. So who is this panel for and should you buy it? Well, maybe you should know that you're going to be grading projects every week or are already doing that. I'm not talking about YouTube reviews or tutorials, but projects where you actually will benefit from using a color grading panel. So, do I regret buying the DaVinci Resolve mini panel? Well, sometimes. When it sits in my drawer and it's not being used, that's money which could be better spent on something else. But when I actually use the panel, I think it's worth it. If you should buy it, well, that's totally up to you. If you're interested in a more in-depth video about the panel and how it works, let me know. If you have thoughts or questions, please leave a comment below. Also, remember to like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.